Welcome to our Thinkery instructional video. Today we are going to be working on making paper airplanes and how to improve from a basic design to a more advanced design so our planes will fly better. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a piece of paper. You're going to want to fold it in half. How you're going to do this, you want to match up the corners so they are even on one side and the other. And then you're going to make a light fold right there. And then if you have a bone folder at home, you can use it. If you don't, you can just use your hands. So you can use your hands all the way to one side, all the way to the other, so the paper is folded in half. And if you have your bone folder, you can even crease that even more to each side. When you open up your paper, it should look something like this, a fold going right through the middle. Now, you're going to have it so that fold is folded in like this and you're going to fold your corners to the middle so one corner comes here and as you can see you're taking this top edge and folding it right to that middle crease so you have a little bit of a house shape when you are finished next you're going to fold it in half get that crease really good and do the same thing again so take those outside those top edges right there and fold them right to the middle. So they're touching. After step three, you should have something that looks like this. Now you're gonna fold it in half, but this time you're gonna leave it there. We're gonna fold out some wings. Now you're gonna wanna go big with the wings. You don't want anything little like this. You wanna take a big fold, so there's about a centimeter left underneath it right there. And then the second fold is going to be easier because you have the wing to line it up with, so you just match that wing with your second wing. Make that fold. Fold these down really well. And we will have our airplane. Now you're going to see how this airplane Pretty good, but we can improve. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create elevators on the back. If you saw the first couple throws, the plane kind of nosedived and went down too quick. So we wanted to stay in the air longer. So we are going to cut some elevators in back. Our wings back up together like this to keep the elevator symmetrical. Make a little snip near the top and a little snip about an inch and a half down from that. So you have two snips like that. And what that'll do is that'll allow us to bend these up just a little bit. So if you're looking from the side, you'll have these two little bends right there. And that'll allow some lift for the plane. So now it's staying in the air a little bit better. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to try to keep it from barrel rolling too much. If you saw in that last one, it kind of goes side to side and it's been doing that throughout. Now we're going to do this. This is a very quick change. This is called making the plane more dihedral. And then what we do is we'll pick up the wings a little bit. If you look at an airport, a lot of times when planes are on the ground, they'll lift their wings a little bit, and that keeps it from rolling too much. It keeps that stability in the system. So now we have all our improvements. We have our elevators. We have our front center of gravity. We have made our wings more dihedral. We're going to go for one last throw. It's gotten a little better every time. It's tough to tell if it works on single throws, but over time, if you throw it over and over, you'll see that each improvement will help your flight. Thanks for joining me for the instructional video, and have fun making plans.